All right, so I'm gonna show this thing that I've seen on a few Sony VAIO laptops now. Um, so I think this doesn't happen in Windows 10, but on Windows X or Windows 7, um, I've been seeing this a few times. So I'll have customers that will tell me their wireless isn't working. Here you can see at the bottom, there's this red thing, it shows no connections are available. It doesn't make sense. You go into the device manager, let's go in there. You go in the device manager, okay, go into network adapters, and look, the wireless network adapter is right there. So you think, okay, maybe the driver screwed up, you delete the drivers, that doesn't work. You try checking the hardware, it doesn't work. You check down here, there's this little switch here for wireless on and off. You turn it off, you turn it on, and it gives you this message, you turned it off, okay, your wireless is off, yeah, that's fine. And then you're like, okay, maybe that's the problem, you turn the wireless on, and you're like, okay, it should be fixed now. But no, it's still dead, right? Okay, so let's see. If you want the answer right away, you can skip all the way till, like, the end, but here you go. You'll see the device manager, let's open that up again. Oops, why isn't it going? There we go. Okay, network adapters, yes, it's in there. Turn the switch back off again because you're like, maybe something weird's going on here. When you turn it off, it actually makes the adapters disappear. Okay, you turn it back on. All right, let's see here. It brings back the Bluetooth ones. But for some reason, the Wi-Fi one always stays there. I don't know why, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so um, then people start trying all this other stuff, like let's right click it and troubleshoot and all this. And no, but Sony did this stupid thing. They were like, hey, this switch isn't good enough to turn off and on your wireless. Some of them, they'll have a keyboard thing up here and they'll go, oh, that switch isn't good enough to turn on and off your wireless. How about we make this smart network tool, which is, I don't know, it's dumb to me, but they call it VIO Smart Network. So apparently they want a genius to be able to figure out how to turn the Wi-Fi on. And here you can see it's off, okay? All you do is click this, turn it on. You have to wait a while because it's dumb, of course. There you go, see? I tapped it, it took like 10 seconds. So you'll probably like see this is off and you'll be like, hello, it's not working. And you keep clicking, clicking, right? And then you think it's not working. And then it, it does that, it turns itself off. So you click it, look how many seconds it takes, four, five, it takes like five seconds to even turn on. So, okay, and now you see, yes, it's connected, it lets you connect. So I don't know why Sony decided to make this. I mean, it's on their old computers, it's not on, I don't think it's on any of the new computers anymore. Sony stopped making computers, I think. But yeah, it's this VIO smart network thing, which is, it should be called Vio, you need to be a genius to know how to turn on the network thing. So yeah, it, it's stupid. Um, one time I, I had a guy at like a mattress store or something and he needed help with this. He couldn't get the Wi-Fi on. I tried even doing like a clean install. I ran Linux and I was like, well, your wireless card works fine in Linux. It doesn't make sense. Your hardware is completely fine. And then I found out that Sony had that stupid software that starts up and just screws it up so there's the fix for you hopefully this video helped you guys um, i don't know how many people will even have sony laptops anymore or have wireless issues with their vio laptops but it started seeming like a common enough issue that i should make a video about it so again hopefully this video helped you guys if it does please like and subscribe so that it'll help others find this video and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one if you're wireless still doesn't work after making sure this button is on or the switch is on after making sure this VIO switch is on or if the VIO switch doesn't let you turn it on it could be a driver issue it could be your wireless internal card at that point depending on where the wireless card is in the computer it might be cheaper to just one of my customers brought this they use this giant USB one but you can go online and you can find little mini USB ones like this if you don't need super long range for your wireless all right again thanks for watching hopefully this video helped you if it did again like and subscribe help others find these videos and I'll see you in the next one bye